Welcome to our lecture online. A very important topic in statistics and probability is the Monte Carlo simulation. So what is a Monte Carlo simulation? Well, we can define it as follows. It is a simulation to model the probability of different outcomes when each outcome is difficult to predict due to the introduction of random variables. In other words, if an outcome or if we're trying to predict something or try to find the probability of a particular overall outcome which depends on individual outcomes which are hard to predict or hard to figure out what may happen in the future, then we use what we call a Monte Carlo simulation. So what means, for example, that if we're trying to predict the performance of the stock market, and of course, if anybody actually figures that out, they'll become millionaires. Now, we know that the stock market depends on many factors, we call them outcomes, and they're all difficult to predict. And that's what makes it so difficult to figure out what the stock market does. For example, the stock market depends on the interest rates, economic growth, tax rates, and a whole bunch of other things, bond rates, you name it. And every one of them is difficult to predict what may happen in the future. So we probably want to assign ranges of values to each of those and then somehow plug in possibilities for each of those particular outcomes, put it all together, and then we can predict what may happen with the stock market. Of course, the best way to do that then would be to go ahead and plug in random variables in all of them and let them range through all the various possibilities and run the simulation many, many times and then we'll get a whole bunch of different outcomes and then we can see what the trend would be based upon random input, all those various outcomes. We can also use it to understand the impact of risk and uncertainty in predicting and forecasting models. For example, we want to predict how long it's going to take to do a job. We want to predict what the risks are if we kind of make a whole bunch of, uh, when we uh, sum up all the possible risks that we have on a particular project and then vary the severity of those risks and the impact of those risks and then see what that would do to the overall outcome of the project. So a Monte Carlo simulation may require random sampling or random number generators. And so that's typically the case. So what does that look like graphically? Well, for example, if we're trying to predict how long a project will take, well, we can see that it's unlikely that it will only take 10 months and it's very, very likely that it'll take no more than 17 months and probably somewhere in between. And so that's what Monte Carlo simulations are used for. Or we can also set up the probability like this and we can see that it's most likely that the outcome will be 60, but if we allow for an outcome all the way up to 120, that will include virtually 100% of all the possible outcomes of a Monte Carlo simulation. So it's used to predict something that depends on many individual outcomes and each one of those individually are hard to predict. Now we're going to see some realistic scenarios, but first let's show you some simplistic uh, examples of what a Monte Carlo simulation is so you can see what it looks like. In other words, we can actually calculate the probability and then we'll see how to actually simulate that using a Monte Carlo simulation to get a feel for what it is and then we'll apply it to some more realistic examples as well. And that is how we define the Monte Carlo simulation.